Zhuangzhou, often known as Zhuangzi, Master Zhuang, or Chuang Su, was an influential Chinese philosopher who lived around the 4th century BC during the Warring States period, a period corresponding to the summit of Chinese philosophy, the Hundred Schools of Thought. He is credited with writing, in part or in whole, a work known by his name, the Zhuangzi, which is one of the foundational texts of Taoism. Topic: Life. The only account of the life of Zhuangzi is a brief sketch in Chapter 63 of Sima Qian's Records of the Grand Historian, and most of the information it contains seems to have simply been drawn from anecdotes in the Zhuangzi itself. In Sima's biography, he is described as a minor official from the town of Meng in modern Anhui in the state of Song, living in the time of King Wei of Liang and King Zan of Qi late 4th century BC. Sima Qian writes, Chuangzi had made himself well acquainted with all the literature of his time, but preferred the views of Lao Zi, and ranked himself among his followers, so that of the more than ten myriads of characters contained in his published writings the greater part are occupied with metaphorical illustrations of Lao's doctrines. He made the old fisherman, the robber Qi, and the cutting open satchels to satirize and expose the disciples of Confucius, and clearly exhibit the sentiments of Lao. Such names and characters as Wei Lei Shu and Kang Sang Zi are fictitious, and the pieces where they occur are not to be understood as narratives of real events, but Chuang was an admirable writer and skillful composer, and by his instances and truthful descriptions hit and exposed the Mohists and literati. The ablest scholars of his day could not escape his satire nor reply to it, while he allowed and enjoyed himself with his sparkling, dashing style, and thus it was that the greatest men, even kings and princes, could not use him for their purposes. King Wei of Chu, having heard of the ability of Chuang Chao, sent messengers with large gifts to bring him to his court, and promising also that he would make him his chief minister. Chuang Zi, however, only laughed and said to them, a thousand ounces of silver are a great gain to me, and to be a high noble and minister is a most honorable position. But have you not seen the victim ox for the border sacrifice? It is carefully fed for several years, and robed with rich embroidery that it may be fit to enter the grand temple. When the time comes for it to do so, it would prefer to be a little pig, but it cannot get to be so. Go away quickly, and do not soil me with your presence. I had rather amuse and enjoy myself in the midst of a filthy ditch than be subject to the rules and restrictions in the court of a sovereign. I have determined never to take office, but prefer the enjoyment of my own free will. The validity of his existence has been questioned by some, including Russell Kirkland, who writes, According to modern understandings of Chinese tradition, the text known as the Chuang Su was the production of a Taoist thinker of ancient China named Chuang Cho, Zhuang Zhou. In reality, it was nothing of the sort. The Chuang Su known to us today was the production of a thinker of the 3rd century CE named Kuo Sang. Though Kuo was long called merely a commentator, he was in reality much more. He arranged the texts and compiled the present 33 chapter edition. Regarding the identity of the original person named Chuang Cho, Zhuangzi, there is no reliable historical data at all. However, Sima Qian's biography of Zhuangzi Pri dates Guo Shang Kuo Sang by centuries. Furthermore, the Han Shu Yiwenzi monograph on literature lists a text Zhuangzi, showing that a text with this title existed no later than the early 1st century AD, again pre-dating Guo Shang by centuries. Writings <laughs> <laughs> Zhuangzi is traditionally credited as the author of at least part of the work bearing his name, the Zhuangzi. This work, in its current shape consisting of 33 chapters, is traditionally divided into three parts. The first, known as the inner chapters, consists of the first seven chapters. The second, known as the outer chapters, consists of the next 15 chapters. The last, known as the mixed chapters, consists of the remaining 11 chapters. The meaning of these three names is disputed. According to Guo Shang, the inner chapters were written by Zhuangzi, the outer chapters written by his disciples, and the mixed chapters by other hands. The other interpretation is that the names refer to the origin of the titles of the chapters. The inner chapters take their titles from phrases inside the chapter, the outer chapters from the opening words of the chapters, and the 
mixed chapters. From a mixture of these two sources, further study of the text does not provide a clear choice between these alternatives. On the one side, as Martin Palmer points out in the introduction to his translation, two of the three chapters Sima Qian cited in his biography of Zhuangzi come from the outer chapters, and the third from the mixed chapters. Neither of these are allowed as authentic Chuang Su chapters by certain purists, yet they breathe the very spirit of Chuang Su just as much as, for example, the famous butterfly passage of Chapter 2. On the other hand, Chapter 33 has been often considered as intrusive, being a survey of the major movements during the Hundred Schools of Thought, with an emphasis on the philosophy of Wei Shi. Further, A.C. Graham and other critics have subjected the text to a stylistic analysis and identified four strains of thought in the book, a the ideas of Zhuangzi or his disciples, b a primitivist strain of thinking similar to Laozi, c a strain very strongly represented in chapters 8-11 which is attributed to the philosophy of Yang Chu, and d a fourth strain which may be related to the philosophical school of Huang Lao. In this spirit, Martin Palmer wrote that Trying to read Chuang Su sequentially is a mistake. The text is a collection, not a developing argument. Zhuangzi was renowned for his brilliant wordplay and use of parables to convey messages. His critiques of Confucian society and historical figures are humorous and at times ironic. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biological evolution. In a passage in his writings, Zhuangzi described the transmutation of species. In the complete works of Chuang Tzu, translated by Burton Watson it is stated that The seeds of things have mysterious workings. In the water they become break vine, on the edges of the water they become frog's robe. If they sprout on the slopes they become hill slippers. If hill slippers get rich soil, they turn into crow's feet. The roots of crow's feet turn into maggots and their leaves turn into butterflies. Before long the butterflies are transformed and turn into insects that live under the stove, they look like snakes and their name is chu to. After a thousand days, the chu to insects become birds called dried leftover bones. The saliva of the dried leftover bones becomes ssu me bugs and the ssu me bugs become vinegar eaters. I lo bugs are born from the vinegar eaters, and huang shuang bugs from chu yu bugs. Chu Yu bugs are born from Mo Jui bugs and Mo Jui bugs are born from rot grubs and rot grubs are born from sheep's groom. Sheep's groom couples with bamboo that has not sprouted for a long while and produces green peace plants. Green peace plants produce leopards and leopards produce horses and horses produce men. Men in time return again to the mysterious workings. So all creatures come out of the mysterious workings and go back into them again. Hu Shi considered Zhuangzi a Chinese forerunner of evolution. Topic. See also Dream argument Li Tsi Dao Te Ching Topic. Notes Topic. Citations Topic. References Ames, Roger T. 1991, the Mention Concept of Ren Xing, Does It Mean Human Nature? In Chinese Texts and Philosophical Contexts, ed. Henry Rosemont, Jr. LaSalle, Ill, Open Court Press. Ames, Roger T. 1998, ed. Wandering at Ease in the Zhuangzi. Albany, State University of New York Press. Bruya, Brian, translator, 1992. Zhuangzi Speaks, The Music of Nature. Princeton, Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0-691-00882-0. Chan, Wing Tsit, 1963. A Source Book in Chinese Philosophy. USA, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-01964-9. Chong, Chung Yuan 1963. Creativity and Taoism, A Study of Chinese Philosophy, Art, and Poetry. New York, Julian Press. Creel, Hurley G. 1982. What is Taoism, and Other Studies in Chinese Cultural History. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0-226-12047-3.
Hansen, Chad. 2003. The Relatively Happy Fish. Asian Philosophy 13 145 164. Horn, Charles F., ed. 1917. The Sacred Books and Early Literature of the East, Vol. 12, Medieval China. New York, Park. Kirkland, Russell. 2004. Taoism, The Enduring Tradition. New York, Routledge. ISBN 978 0 415 26321 4. Mayer, Victor H. 1994. Wandering on the Way Early Taoist Tales and Parables of Chuang Tzu. New York, Bantam Books. ISBN 0 553 37406 0. Google Books. Merton, Thomas. 1969. The Way of Chuang Tzu. New York, New Directions. Palmer, Martin. 1996. The Book of Chuang Tzu. Penguin. ISBN 978 0 14 019488 3. Roth, H. D. 1993. Chuang Tzu Zhuang Zi. In Lo, Michael. Early Chinese Texts, a Bibliographical Guide. Berkeley, Society for the Study of Early China, Institute of East Asian Studies, University of California, Berkeley. pp. 56 66. ISBN 1 55729 043 1. Schwartz, Benjamin J. The World of Thought in Ancient China. Cambridge, Belknap Press. ISBN 978-0-674-96191-3. Waltham, Clay Chuang Tzu, Genius of the Absurd. New York, Ace Books. Watson, Burton Early Chinese Literature. New York, Columbia University Press. Watts, Allen with Huan, Al Chung Liang, 1975. Dao, The Watercourse Way. New York, Pantheon Books. ISBN 0 394 73311 8, CS 1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List. Link. Ziporin, Brooke. 2009. Zhuangzi, The Essential Writings with Selections from Traditional Commentaries Hackett Classic Series. Hackett Publishing. ISBN 978-1-60384-435-2 External links Zhuangzi Bilingual Chinese-English Version James Legg's Translation Chinese Text Project The Zhuangzi Being Boundless Complete Translation of Zhuangzi by Nina Correa Chuang Su at Taoism.net, Chuang Su's Stories and Teachings, Translations by Derek Lin Zhuangzi, the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Zhuangzi, Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy Selection from the Zhuangzi, translated by Patricia Abre Chuang Su at Taopage. Org Zhuang Zi, Chapter 1 Zhuang Zi, Chapter 2 James Leg Complete Translation in English The Leg Translation of the Complete Chuang Su Zhuangzi updated Works by Zhuang Zhou at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks